tell me what's about to go down behind us. So we're about to do a live demonstration here at South by Southwest of our Project Cupid, which is our chaotic unmanned personal intercept drone. Does that mean the drone is going to stun this guy behind us? That's exactly what's going to happen. It's going to stun him with about 80,000 volts. You are about to get stunned by a drone. Yes, I think it'd be really cool to kind of be at the forefront of some emerging technologies. It's about to happen. It's about to get stunned. One twenty-two over seventy-eight. You were down for a couple minutes, but but you're you're good. Took the vitals, feeling great. Yeah. Okay. A little bit of discomfort, but it was. It was all right. You fell down? Fell down? Yeah, I didn't have too much choice in the matter on that. Uh, kind of everything just locks up. The reality is is that there's, there's a lot of work that's being done in this type of area that maybe isn't being managed properly. And so we wanted to do this demonstration as kind of an awareness to raise the awareness of what the capabilities are technically, um, as well as something to kind of like show, you know, how it can be done responsibly at the same time. Small unmanned aerial vehicles have a lot of potential applications. Um, not just, you know, imagine that it's not a, a, a system to stun on it. Imagine it's a system to deliver an early EMS package. Imagine it's a system to find a lost child using camera vision. There's a ton of things these things can be used for in the commercial space, in the safety space, public safety space, but also in the personal space. Lori Siegel, CNN, Austin.